Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to install and run SWI Prolog and I will also show you how to install the editor as well. So let's get started with the uh, SWI Prolog. We will install the 64-bit version for Microsoft first. Just click uh, here I understand and we can now download the executable. So now let's just run this file. So let's click on next. I agree. Let's make a desktop icon. The default options are fine for this. So let's just download the editor as well. And we will install the 64 bit version as we have installed the 64 bit version of Prolog. So let's go in ahead and click on that. So our prologue has finished installing and now let's just install our editor. Let's select the language. And now let's now let's launch the uh, editor as after finishing. And we have successfully installed our editor and we can see uh, we have our uh, knowledge base above. Our knowledge base where we can write all of our rules and below we have our dialogue where we can interact with our knowledge base. So in our dialogues, let's just write a simple function. I will write write hello world. This will print hello world. Okay, it seems like I made an error. I, I had to put a dot at the end, but we can solve it by restarting the application. So I just click on restart. And now I can just uh, write again. And this, this time I will add, add the dot at the end. So now you can see uh, it, it's working. So now let me show you how we can open uh, the editor from the desktop. So I, I just have to click the editor icon in the desktop. And okay, I, I already made a file beforehand, but we can just close that and I'll make a new file. I go to file, click on new. And as you can see, I have a new file name file one dot pl dot pl is the extension for our prolog file so let's just save this i'm going to rename this as test and you can see the new name is test dot pl and I'll, I'll i'll enter my first rule now i'll write person adam and now uh, to run this i have to uh, uh, consult it so to consult it I have to click on start and then consult you can just pr uh, press F9 to it's it's much shorter now after consulting we can now interact with the uh, with the with our knowledge base in our dialogue so I'll just write person and I'll give the variable X this should return Adam And as you can see, it has returned Adam. So that's working. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. Uh, please do uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.